the man, the myth, the legend, Super Fractor, one of one, Trent Grisham. We're finally doing a video focused around him today. He's moving up into second in the lineup. This is the team I'm rocking. It's mostly the team that I made World Series with last time. This will be my first game of the season. Still have Byron Buxton leading off, Ronald Acuna. I'm hitting Tatis third. He's got 74 contact against righties today. It should be good enough. He's a baller in real life. I got to put Tatis higher in the lineup. And then we have J-Ram, Ronald Acuna, the obvious. Did they both play? Well, then they both homered. Chipper Jones, Alfonso Soriano, Jorge. And then the same pitchers on the mound. It'll probably be Valenzuela. They get the nod today. And then a pretty good bullpen as well. Do I want to throw anyone else in there? I think we have everyone we need. So first game of the new ranked season, I am 27-4 and four with, of course, a disconnect loss. And some. I think only one game I really felt like I deserved to lose. The other two were brutally bad with just... That's just baseball moments. But I haven't, haven't played a game of Hall of Fame in at least a week. So this could be... This could be really bad. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it goes well. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. This channel has been growing so quickly. And that's all thanks to you guys. So I'm glad you're enjoying the content. And hopefully Trent Grisham destroys. He's got 88 power today with inside edge, 73 contact, right? Everyone asks me why I use the gold over the diamond. And it's not only because I have him super fractured, which is cool. But I think the card is going to be better long term, especially with inside edge and upgrades as we face Corbin Burns. This guy's got a very decent team. And I like to play it, ship it, because the batter's eye is fantastic. I've gotten some comments about it, but it's a high offensive environment. But, you know, there are less line outs and cheap fly outs. You're going to have some homers that you probably don't deserve, and you'll allow some you don't deserve. But I've never had a problem seeing the ball here. I like the batter's eye. It makes for entertaining gameplay. Got him. Strike three on the screwball. Very odd AB. I think he's going to be ready for that pitch again. So maybe I go with a curveball. I, I got to really watch what I'm actually doing. <laughs> Looks like I'm making some type of abstract painting. I hit him? That's ridiculous. I just got to watch what the actual thing is. I'll be able to do it. I think this might be a game where we try to really jam the fastball in as well. Just to keep guys honest. Because it's so easy to just sit on the off speed and get that timing down. Get a lot of questions about what's R2, by the way. It's um, pulling up the pitches so I can't pitch. And I, I get it in some instances. You want to remember what the pitch mix is. But some guys do it literally before every single pitch. And they hold it down the entire time which also needs to be fixed in the game, in my opinion, just along with contact swings. Sinker, cutter, slider, change up, curveball. And we're ready to turn on the sinker already. It's tough to put a better swing on that pitch. Wasting no time. And neither are we as Byron Buxton shoots that inner center field, and Byron Buxton can't get to it. Nice base hit, 99 speed on first base. For Trent Grisham, the man of the video, the PCI small, but his heart is big. Let's make something happen. Trent, things ripped. Unfortunately, right to an outfielder. Is that Joey Gallo? Don't be a double play. Oh, he screwed it up. Tatis is flying. 97 speed on this parallel. First and second, that might be an error. Oh, they're going to give him a base hit. Let's go. J-Ram, that was a normal swing. And that one is going to be an out. We'll tag on that. Good rip by J-Ram. Just couldn't quite get it over the fence. I think it was a little bit late. No, pretty good swing. Just off the plate too much. Acuna down the line. Keep trying me with that sinker, boy. He can't get to it. We'll take second and third. Big two-out rally. Starting, hopefully, Chipper Jones. He's going to go cutter. Let's just take it. Let's just take it. But he gets me late on it. Good spot, I guess. So he loves to go sinker, 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 sinker inside the righties. We can hit that. We can hit that. 
there's no reason to keep him honest if that's the only pitch he's sitting on timing wise we got to go to some softer stuff so circle change work the screwball the screwball is going to be tremendously tough to get on so we'll try and throw that a lot got him 0-2 really don't want to go to a fastball i feel like that's the only pitch he's capable of hitting at the moment so we'll get him out ahead valenzuela gold glover i don't know if that's true but he does have gold defense probably was a gold glover let's check indeed one time gold glove in 1986 that is a shame 1986 was the last time he was an all-star was the last time he finished inside the top five or ten of the Cy Young last time he got an MVP vote so he would go on from 87 and 97 getting nothing as we have lost connection with the opponent we'll probably hop into another game he quit we're gonna throw Tom Glavin who will be who or who will we be faced up against it is Corbin Burns again this guy's got a better team I think we are the away team is this progressive this sure oh it's Oracle okay 65 and 39 this park plays pretty deep I mean you can see triples alley down there in right center could be tough to get some offense going but we'll see what happens we got some speed to play these gaps all right let's be patient let's not swing at the first pitch unless it's an absolute meatball we'll see what he's trying to do so he's trying to get the sinker for a go-ahead first pitch strike I can respect that this is going to be a guy who likes to paint which I can respect. I pitch in a similar way. It's a really good sequence. Okay. Now we know about him as a player. At least a little bit. I really shouldn't have swung at it like that. I only just picked up the controller. It's no good. But we know what he likes to do. And here is Trent Grisham. The whole reason we're getting a video today. I tried to swing. I don't really know what happened there. So yeah, cutter, sinker is going to be down in there. Yeah, we, we know how this guy's going to pitch. It's not going to be particularly tough to read them. There's a sinker. I'm just so early on it. Can Trent Grisham get to this? He's safe! Look at the hustle from Trent Grisham. This guy's definitely a really good pitcher. Not predictable at all. Well, I say not predictable at all. He's predictable a little bit in the sense that I've predicted some of what he's been doing already. But uh, he, he mixes things up pretty well. He's going to go probably low and away outside. He doesn't. Cutter in. It's an unbelievable spot. This guy is a really, really good pitcher to his credit. It's going to be a very tough game, I think. Although he doesn't seem to be much of a hitter. <laughs> These are always weird games, dude. We'll see. He's only hitting 181 with Byron Buxton. It's going to be a little bit lower now. Goodbye. That's not a swing? I, it sure looked like one. I know it's at the discretion of the umpire, but it looked like the bat came around twice almost. And that should be out number three. Chipper. On a first, and we are back up to hit. And this guy's disgusting on the mound, man. I, I can't... If you go up against someone who actually knows how to pitch with Corbin Burns, it's going to be a long day. And I, I know it's only the top of the second, but I'm telling you, I think this is going to be a very long day for me. It, it's very, very, very tough. And of course, with the sinker there, I don't recognize the late break of that thing. And even though my timing was good on the pitch, I couldn't get my PCI over to it. I mean, there's no way this guy's touching a sinker up and in, right? No shot. I will say the great thing about pinpoint is I just don't really give up runs this year. I just don't do it. Very nice because it means that when I do actually struggle at the plate, I can at least give myself a little bit of comfortability in the game because I know I'm not going to allow a ton of runs. Trent Grisham with the lone hit in the entire ball game. It was an infield single. But I don't know, man. All these pitches are very, very, very tough to hit. I haven't been able to really get on any of them. Like, look at that sinker. I'm able to lay off because there's only one strike, but with two strikes, am I really able to take that? Everything's on the black. 
There we go. Jorge! Can't get over him. Right into the shift. Just a little bit late on that, maybe. It's tough, dude. It's tough. And I say late. I know it says good timing. The wrong side of perfect is late. They don't let you get hits there, usually. Dots me up with a cutter. Nothing I can do. <laughs> I don't even know if he's going to go to the changeup. Slider further off the plate. Sinker in. Goes to a curveball. This guy's as unpredictable as it gets. I can't do anything. How is that a ball, man? There goes the perfect game. But it'll work out because we might be able to get a double play here. He's going to bunt. It's so high. Jorge. Perfect throw. Safe. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And now a bunt would put the runner at third base. He's not trying to. Okay, interesting. That's going to be a hit late down the line. This is why I get frustrated. Sick double. Just late, not on the ball double. It's killer. And we're down one nothing. And that's a pop-up. Inning over. But that's just baseball, right? Whatever I can say to quell the pain. He's getting predictable to lefties, though. It, it, I'm getting that cutter on the black every first pitch. Trent, let's go! Has both our hits in the ball game now. We got to tie things up. Try to hit and run. Look at that cutter, dude. I want him thinking about it. I got the sinker. I still couldn't do anything with it. Don't be a double play. What am I supposed to do there, man? That's strike three if I don't swing. Oh, my God. I'm all over it, too. I mean, what am I supposed to do? It's a great pitch. We're struggling right now. We are struggling. I really think it should be 0-0. Like, with every fiber of my being, I don't think this guy should have a run. But he does, so we got to fight through it. I mean, they just brushed him off the plate when I guarantee you he wanted to swing at that for strike three. Really annoying. We'll take it on the next pitch. Can Acuna make this play? No, it's well into the stance. See, that's the same pitch he wanted to strike out on earlier. Guarantee that much. Holding R2, of course, because there are two strikes. I'll let you watch this one. Don't worry. Lay off the slider. To sinker. Bye-bye. We need to start scoring some runs. I don't even really think I've been too impatient. It's 55 pitches, now 56 here to start the top of the fifth. Like, I've seen some pitches, but what am I supposed to do when I'm down 0-2 in the count after those two pitches? I, I have to swing. If you want me to be, uh, be more patient, that's what happens if I'm more patient. Just struck out on three pitches. And if I do swing and I'm all over it, I can't get a hit. If I wasn't all over it, I'd, I'd be less frustrated. But I am. Can I get him with a slider here in the front door? Perfect. But it wasn't particularly close. We'll get him on this pitch, though. The control of Tom Glavin is uh, beginning to frustrate me a little bit. Because I feel like I should have struck him out twice now. Two two. I've been working only up in the zone, which means this should be a pretty good time for the sweeping curve. Is that going to dribble up the middle? Tatis going to need a cannon on this one, and he's safe. Two quality hits for my opponent in this game. But Corbin Burns is going to pop up, so we are out of the inning. I need a run. That much is very very apparent to me right now. We're going to have eight nine one. Should be a pretty good time to get something going. 
Jesus. Perfect. Can I get a fair ball? I'm, I literally hit it perfectly. You can't hit it better than perfect. And I can't even get a fair ball. This game's really beginning to frustrate me. I think people want to sit around and act like MLB 21's perfect. And it's maybe improved from last year. Just because you can throw the ball where you want to on the mound. But, oh my god. There's, there are a lot of other issues. Oh, ripped. What a hit that was. Very early. <laughs> and that's a hit. But my actual good pieces of hitting are all outs. Cut her away. Throw it right there. I know you want to. And he didn't locate it. He got lucky he didn't locate it. He got lucky. There's the sinker. Trent Grisham is two for two. I'm going to try and steal here. M make something happen. All right. Runner in scoring position on the check swing. What a spot that was. I'm actually shocked that wasn't strike three. Just doing whatever I can to stay alive. I need Trent Grisham to put it in play. Go three for three, and we're tied. I'm doing the best I can, man. I'm literally all over it. I cannot get a hit to save my life. Got him, strike three. Nine Ks for Tom Glavin through five and a third. Five and two thirds, excuse me. There are two outs now as Mike Trout's up to the plate. That is strike one. I think the slider is going to put him away again. Good rip, dude. Ugh. That's just baseball. What was that? Just early, not touching the ball. Oh, man, I wish I could see how hard that was hit. Might have been 120 off the bat. Man, that, that one's another rocket. Yeah, you're back picked. Good lord, this game, man. That, a lot of just baseball going on. Don't you love this sport in this game? Like, you know what my problem is? The guy's not even dominating me on the mound. I know it seems like it. I'm getting on these pitches. He's getting, yeah, first strike, whatever. But when I'm on the ball, I cannot get a hit because every pitch is on the corner. He's, he's doing a great job. I'm not taking anything away from him. But, like, I'm doing the same thing, and he's getting these, these shit hits to fall. And, I mean, that's it's perfect, perfect. I get the single. I'll take it. It's going to be a line out. Like, this is, this is what I'm talking about, dude. It's just frustrating. How can you not blame me for being frustrated here? Or how can you blame me for being frustrated? I literally can't do anything, and I, I feel like I'm playing pretty well. I have four hits. He has four hits. Our four hits are not created equal. Can I get him with a slider up? That'd be mean. Oh, almost. Almost. It'll probably just be a slider on the inside part of the plate that sits him down because it looks like an entirely different pitch. You know, I think he's probably expecting the slider. It's not coming. It's not coming. Tom, please put it where I want it. Please. Oh, Tom, you're killing me. You know what I might do is work around Nico Goodrum to try and get Corbin Burns out of the game. Just because it's clear I it's not letting me get a hit against him. So I just go like... Just sinker in off the plate, a pitch that isn't going to hurt me. And then I'll face Corbin Burns, and we'll see if he, if he makes a tough decision, goes to the bullpen. Here he is. Does he know I was working around him? Doesn't really matter. He's going to take him out. Strike two. Do I go same pitch but more off the plate? We're going to try it. Got him. I need one run. That's it. That's it. I've been hitting well enough to get one run. <laughs> you better help me out, game. Mariano Rivera. He's going to pitch probably the same way. It's going to be a cutter down and away to start this count. Or start this AB, I would imagine. But I, I can't do anything about it. Just missed it. Just missed it, man. The ball's a little bit tough to see out of Mariano Rivera's hand. 
This is why I play it. Ship it. I've never had an issue seeing the ball even once. Hate these major league parks. Can that get through? No. A little early. Get out, please. At least get to triples alley. It's getting caught. Oh, jeez. All right. It's one of those games. The really frustrating thing is I'm not even playing badly. I'm going to lose one nothing in ranked seasons. Absolute pain. I'm going to go back to the slurve. I don't really want to put Ricky Henderson on base, but I think this guy's going to be hit, sitting on the sinker so hard, and he is. Now I don't really have a choice. I've gotten off speed like every pitch of this AB. I'll take the out. And that is out number three. That one hung a little bit. Kind of my first mistake pitch of the entire game. And we have top of the order, Buxton, Grisham, Tatis. Keep me alive in the game. Keep me alive. I, I mean, I got it. He's got to be safe. You have to be safe. He's out. Oh, my God. I can't do anything. I know what pitch is coming, and I still can't hit it. Trent, get down. So early on that. Hit up the middle. I'm early on it. And that is out number three. A game I really feel like I didn't deserve to lose, obviously. I've been saying it the entire game. I had four hits, and I felt like I lined out or hit a hard out like 10 or 15 times this game. That's just baseball. I got to say it. I know, uh, of course, I get the comments that I'm salty. I'm only mad because I lost. I didn't deserve to lose to that guy. It's my opinion. Feel free to disagree. That's going to be it for the video. Trent Grisham had two hits at least. I got to end it here. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Taking it back to the house, defensive joke, I'm laughing so loud.